computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to create a responsive navigation bar with equal width menu links using HTML5 and CSS3. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, the software itself, which is text edit. So we can now go all the way down to the dock, go to launchpad, search for the application, text edit, click on this, command S to save, go to the desktop, start a new folder, call this navigation bar, create, go into the folder and then change the file name to index.htm, save yes, use.htm, Go to the text edit file, increase the size of this. Command plus a couple of times to increase the font size. And now we are ready to start programming in HTML5 and CSS3 to create the responsive navigation bar with equal width menu links, less than exclamation mark, doc type in capitals, HTML. Go to a new line, less than HTML, less than slash HTML. Within this, we need the head and the body. We can have title within the head if required to, but not for this tutorial. Now go into the body and insert all the HTML programming to bring the navigation bar onto the screen. Less than H1, a responsive navigation menu. With equal links, less than slash h1 greater than that is the heading we can have a paragraph if required to go to a new line less than div class equals nav bar greater than go to a new line less than after we indent a class equals active Within speech marks, href equals speech marks hashtag greater than home less than slash a greater than. Go to the top nav bar, ignore the spelling, go to a new line, indent, and then insert the rest of the navigation menu. Highlight the previous line of code, command C to copy, command V to paste, remove class equals active, as we only need that once. Change home to search. Highlight the last line of code again, command C to copy, go to a new line, indent, paste, not once, but twice, and then change search to contact. And then change search again to log in. Command S to save and then end with a div tag. Less than slash div greater than. That is the navigation bar itself. Now we need to insert all the CSS. Go to the top after head. Less than style. Greater than go to a new line. Less than slash style. Within style, we need all the CSS3 star curly brace box sizing. Colon border box. Curly brace, go to a new line. Body. 
Carly Brace Font Family. Ariel Helvetica. Sans Serif. Sammy Colon. Carly Brace. Go to a new line again. Dot Nav Bar. Curly Brace New Line with Background Color Overflow. Go back to the top after Width. Colon Highlight. Copy and Paste at the end of each word. Go back to Background Color. Ignore the spelling. Go to Width again. 100%. Semicolon, go to background color, hashtag triple five, semicolon, overflow, auto, semicolon, go to a new line, curly brace, go to a new line again, command S to save, dot nav bar A, curly brace, new line, float, padding, color, text decoration, font size, the width, text align. Go back to the top again, float, colon, highlight, copy, and paste at the end of each word. Go back to float again, float to the left, semicolon, padding, 12 pixels, semicolon, color, white, semicolon, ignore spelling on color, text decoration, none. Semicolon, font size, 17 pixels. You can have something bigger if required to. The width, 100 divided by 4 is 25%. Semicolon, four links of equal width. Go to text align, center. Semicolon, new line curly brace. Go to a new line again. Dot nav bar a colon hover curly brace new line take background color highlight copy paste hashtag triple zero semicolon new line curly brace command s to save go to a new line again take the previous lines of code highlight copy Paste and then change. Hover to active. Change the colon to a dot. Background color. This time is not triple zero. Four. C A F five zero. Command S to save. Go to a new line again. At media. Screen and parentheses max dash width colon 500 pixels parentheses curly brace new line indent dot nav bar a curly brace new line indent two spaces float display width text align Go back to float again, colon, highlight, copy, and then paste at the end of each word. Go back to float again, none, semicolon, display, block, semicolon, width, 100%. As we know, 
100 divided by 25 is 4. We have 4 navigation links. Text align, left, semicolon, indent, curly brace, curly brace again. Command S to save. One, and then two. So now the programming in HTML5 and CSS3 is done to create a responsive navigation bar with equal width menu links. So now we can go all the way down to the dock, go to finder, desktop, navigation bar, right click on index.html, open with Safari, minimize finder for the moment, decrease the size of the web page. Decrease the size of the text edit file so then we can see what is happening on both windows at a concurrent level. As we decrease the size of the navigation bar, we have a responsive navigation menu. which can also be used on mobile devices. Quit Safari, quit text edit. That's it with this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now.